Hello Virgos, this is your reading for the 12th through the 18th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. It's early guys, so bear with me, okay? This is you versus them. Let's see what's, what's been going on with you guys. <clears throat> what's been going on with my Virgos? Mmm. Ten of Cups. Some of you have just gotten into relationships that make you very happy. But also on the flip side, some of you have gotten out of relationships where you once felt fulfilled and happy and, you know, felt this togetherness, um, this familial uh, atmosphere. Okay. And some of you are actually just content right now. That's what I'm getting from um, you guys. Okay, let's see what's going on with, um, or what's been going on with the other person here. Let's see what's been going on with them. What's been going on with Virgo's person? Virgo's person. Hmm. Let's see. Justice. Hmm. Something they, they're trying to make right here. Maybe a Libra you guys are dealing with. Um, some of them feel like they've been wronged. Some of them want to make something right here. Okay, They're wanting to balance out the scales is what I'm getting here. Whether good or bad. But we're going to pull more cards to see how this story plays out. Alright, so let's see what's keeping you guys from this person. But what's driving you apart? Let's see. What's driving Virgo from this person? Queen of Wands. Hmm. Either this person is like way too fiery, um, angry, or they do not have enough get up and go for you. They don't exhibit these qualities. They're not a go-getter that sort of thing could be a Pisces individual that some of you guys are dealing with here Aries I feel let's see what's what's driving this person away from Virgo here what's driving this person away from Virgo the tower definitely a major um, shift. I feel like what once was a happy home is not anymore. You guys broke up, and it was it was it was a shock to them. I feel more so than you guys, and it kind of hit them like a ton of bricks. Is what I'm getting here, and I feel like this person is kind of wanting some some get back or some retribution. Okay, I feel like this person is very angry and may be looking to seek out some justice of their own. So you guys be careful with that, okay? And then as I look into the bottom of their deck, I see the devil there. Um, this is not good. With the tower, um, this person is probably one that uh, is seeking revenge or some sort of um, retribution feeling like you guys have probably did them wrong here okay so mm, let's see what is currently going on for my Virgos what's currently going on for Virgo mm, I think a lot of you are just really trying to move on um, Seven of Pentacles, a lot of you are in this, this waiting um, stage where you feel like you've done everything that you can possibly do and not willing to budge, not willing to do anything else. Very Taurus energy, um, feeling like you've invested enough time and energy in this situation and you're not really to, willing to invest anymore. I think a lot of you are seeking new opportunities here with that page of wands under the bottom of the deck there, looking for other things, I feel other people that interest you other ideas you know I feel like this person loves you and they would like to continue with you um, but I, I get that there was something very jolting to them about um, you guys disconnecting here and they also have the seven of Pentacles I feel like for a lot of you 
um, maybe this has has just happened um, within the last seven months or so but more so than that I feel like your seven of Pentacles is facing forward towards the future because that is where you are that's where you're pointed that's where you want to go I don't feel like you guys are wanting to revisit the past okay but this individual is facing towards the past okay and and possibly thinking about all the things that they have done um, feeling like they've done way more for you than you have done for them is is what I'm getting here okay And they've probably been taking a tally of like, you know, the things that they've done for you. Um, every every little thing they've done for you, they they probably are like taking um, like counting those like bullet points almost. But they're in this waiting stage too. And and I feel like this is more of like a plotting um, for this individual. More of a plotting situation here. Okay. You guys be careful because I'm not getting very good um, energy going on for this person over here. Let's see. <clears throat> What's influencing my Virgos? This card fell out. Let's see what that is. Page of Wands. Hmm. You guys have very little interest in this person at this point. Um, I think there there's still something that's pulling you towards them, but I don't think it's enough. Um, it's not enough interest there in this individual anymore. Okay, I think that for a lot of you is that you care about this person. Some of you actually do have um, children, or they have children that's influencing you right now. Okay, that I think maybe. You know, if you guys don't share children, then I think you just have like this strong affinity um, for this person's children. If that is the case, okay. Because this this is them, and this is the page of wands here, um, and this is you know sometimes representative of a child. So, yeah. Okay. Or again, like I said, you guys just have very little interest in this person at this point. Let's see. Then we have the Eight of Swords for them. Yeah. Um, this person is very angry. Very, very angry. So, um, and they're kind of going over things over and over and over again. And they probably go in and out, burst of anger. You know, very upset, this individual, I feel. Very upset. And then as I split your deck, I see the devil very upset so be mindful of that be very mindful of that this person probably has some addictions too that you guys just cannot get with let's see what's coming in for you guys here what's coming in for my virgos a lot of you have taurus in your chart but you know you're going forward because what you believe in whatever it is that you're doing okay and I think you're just wanting to, to move on. You want to take a pause for a second so you can just try to get yourself together, get your thoughts together, and then you want to go forward because it's like whatever it is that you guys are doing, you feel like it's the right thing. You feel like it's the right thing. And I think you will stand your ground. I don't think you will be phased by whatever antics um, have gone on here, to be honest with you. Let's see. What's coming in for them? The Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Maybe a tiny bit of stalking going on, trying to observe um, your movements. But this, this person is, like I said, with the Seven of Pentacles and um, the Page of Swords, it's like they are keeping tabs or have kept tabs on everything that they've possibly done for you um, and there's something that this person is plotting and planning here okay there's something that they're plotting and planning guys 
So be very mindful of that, okay? Let's see what's blocking you from this person. What's blocking you guys? The chariot in reverse. Uh, you, you guys know I don't do reversals, but this is you not wanting to, um, not wanting to continue with this person. Hold on, guys. You're not wanting to continue with them. You don't see success with them. You don't feel like you guys get along. You can't, um, you know, grow with this person even. This is the bottom line. I feel like a lot of you just don't want anything else to do with this situation um, for whatever reason. Okay. Let's see what's blocking them. What's blocking them? Hang on one second. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Let's see what's blocking them. Mm, the sign. I think it's like them being, excuse me, being aware of the things that they do. Being aware of how they behave. Um, I, I, I get this, this person has a general lack of happiness. Um, they're, they're not a happy person in general is what I'm getting from this. And they do not hold themselves accountable for anything. Okay. It's just the bottom line. Um, and I feel like you want better for yourself at this point. <clears throat> Let's see what the advice is for you guys here. Move away. Move away. Um, and it's coming out next to the chariot in reverse for you guys so i feel like this is you just moving away from the situation um since you don't see success here okay now if this is advice for you guys to get back with this person then i would say contact this person communicate with this person okay if you want to get back with this person Okay. Tell them you love them. You know, do, make some some sort of action towards this person is what I'm getting here. If you want to get back with this person, but if you don't and you don't see success here, you want to continue forward and you just need some advice to kind of help you along because a lot of times, you know, people come to the readings not necessarily because they want to get back with someone. Maybe somebody ghosted them, okay? or ghosted you guys and you didn't have any resolve in the situation or you didn't have any closure a lot of times people just want to hear that this person feels like they have um they know they've done wrong or or know that they that you guys have actually done the right thing in the situation and it's almost like validation for what you already feel okay so some of you actually do not want to get back with this person it's like you need that little added push to just go forward by yourself and be successful and so if that is the case if you don't feel like um you could be successful here i would say do not contact this person move away if you have to I mean, like physically move away if you have to, because I can see somebody here is plotting something, okay, for some of you. And that's not going to be for all of you, but somebody here is plotting something, okay? So let's see what the advice would be for them. The Queen of Wands. To have more get up and go about themselves, to move forward, to have um, forward movement, progression, um, happiness, fiery spirit, not angry, but a fiery spirit, um, eager to do things, eager to initiate things, um, that sort of person, a go-getter, and move on. Come out the past, stop trying to, um, you know, take bullet points and, and take a tally of, you know, what you've done for each other and move on. Is what I would say to this person, whoever this is. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys here. 
the Empress. Yeah, I think you guys definitely will grow, start over, um, be abundant, you know, be happy. I think you definitely will for sure. If you're doing what you feel like is best and you have not wronged anyone and you're just doing what's best for you in this situation and this person was not um, for you, then of course, I see definitely growth and um, abundance for you guys coming in here, okay? And they have the chariot. I feel like I feel like it's a, at some point this person um, will eventually move on. Okay, they're going to move on, but I feel like they're going to try to change for you guys a little bit. For some of you, this is a genuine change. Okay, and for others of you, this is a lure. I have to put that out there. All right, guys. So what we have here is Cancer. Um, I feel Aries, Pisces, uh, energy Taurus, energy is here. Sagittarius, uh, Libra's here. Gemini, Leo, Scorpio. Yeah, and that's it. So I will be speaking with you guys soon.